Hi guys, first video in some time because it's been quite busy here. We've got the Mara coming up, our big migration specials, and we've got the Chobe running as our one of our featured destinations. But I recently returned from Kenya where we took a group up. I'm sure you've seen the big cats and tuskers. There's a fantastic trip report which you have to have to look at. I think without a doubt one of the best photographic experiences I've had with a group of people and you want to check it out for next year. But the reason for this particular video is this. Editing and processing of images. Now, in the Lightroom courses that we run, we start from the beginning and look at what, what, what's capable in Lightroom. You can catalog, you can import, you can mark, you can keyword, all these wonderful things, and then you can process your images. Now, a lot of people get stuck on the processing side of things. They just want to do exposure and contrast and all the lovely things, but from a photographic safari point of view, if you're traveling, any travel photography, wildlife, landscape, travel, whatever you do, there's three stages of processing and editing that you need to do. Now, in process and editing, I'm meaning the, the entire process. So, think of this. During our recent trip to Kenya, we spent four nights in the Mara, three nights in Amboseli, and you get a hell of a lot of images. I mean, I didn't shoot a lot because that's not why I'm there. My job is to take care of you guys on the trip. But some of the guests shot between, I'm guessing, 3,000, and I know one person shot up to 10,000 images in eight days. Now, this is not because they're just rattling off all the time. There's just so much to see and so much to photograph. Imagine now coming home and you have 10,000 images to try and go through after the fact. It's never going to happen. And I speak from experience because I've still got one or two trips from two, three years ago, which I didn't focus on during the trip to actually catalog my images. And I still haven't gone through them because it's a hell of a big job. So the three stages that you need to look at if you're traveling and when you're looking at your, your on-trip importing and editing kind of thing. The first step is while you're on that trip, don't get stuck in the editing mode. A lot of people, they get back to the media tent, especially in the Mara, because the site you see is so fantastic. You get back to the media tent and you immediately go after those favorites that you think are the good ones. And you start editing them. The next day you get another thousand images, another 500, that suddenly you've posted one or two random ones. You can't remember which ones, but you have got a bulk of images that you haven't even looked at. So, my suggestion is this, while you're on a trip, take the time when you get back in the mornings or in the evenings and go and sit with Lightroom, and I'm going to show you how to do this now, and work through images and just rate them. Give them a one rating, toss the ones that are bad, or a zero rating for the ones you're not sure with. Why? Because when you then get home, you don't have to go through 10,000 images to figure out which are the ones that will work. You can then start from scratch and say, right, I've highlighted, let's call it, 2,000 images out of 10,000 and then you can start working. You're going to work faster, you're going to see images that you're going to miss compared to when you just get stuck in immediately. So, there's a process you need to follow. So in this particular video, let's have a look at how I go about on a trip processing and editing my images. Let me jump into Lightroom. So what you'll see on screen here, this is all my raw files. Let me just scroll down so you have a look. There's quite a few of these. This is the raw files that I shot during our recent trip to Kenya. Yeah quite a few. Now, you can see in between, there are some of them that are highlighted. These ones I, I kind of did on the way. That was for me doing blog posts uh, and trip reports and things. But for example, if I were to select a bunch of images like that, how it's going to be so much easier that while I'm on that trip, immediately uh, the morning after I shot this, to go through these images and say, right, that might work. That's not his eyes is closed. I'm going to toss that. Here he's got a lazy eye. Let's toss that and so on and so forth. So while it's fresh, go through them, not edit, just sort them so you can do it later on. So for the purposes of this video, what I've done, let me just open the sites. You can see here, this is my, in my, um, in my folder view, I've got all my Kenya images. I've created a collection just for us to play with today called Lightroom. And in here, I've just pulled a whole bunch of random images in from that Kenya trip. So as you know, in Lightroom, you can star rate your images one through five. You can do that by just pushing the buttons one through five, or you can use, if you zoom in underneath the images, you can click these little dots underneath how many stars you want to rate them. If you want to rate, if you want to toss an image, it's rubbish, it's out of focus, it's horrible, something like that, for example. Okay. Yeah? I'm not going to use that. So that I want to get rid of. I can use the X key to toss that. It doesn't delete it, it just marks it as a flag so that I can get rid of it later on. So, for me, how I approach this, I'm going to start from the beginning of my images, yeah? And I'm going to rate them one star, the ones that I think these will work, I'm going to process them when I get home later on. The ones that I'm not sure about, 
I'm gonna leave as a zero rating. I'm not gonna do anything to them. Those are the ones that one day, long time from now, I can go and sit on a Sunday, get a nice cold scotch on the rocks and I can work through them and see maybe there's ones I missed. The ones that are definite horrible images, I'm gonna to toss, I'm gonna to push the X button while I'm on them to get rid of those things. But instead now, let me just zoom in a bit so you can see what's happening. Right, instead of having to go click with the mouse, rate one, click with the mouse, rate one, and so on, the nice shortcut to use while you're doing this is to hold the shift key in. When you hold the shift key in and you hit any kind of rating, one through five, X, or one of your colors, it'll automatically jump to the next frame. So you hold shift, you then go and you rate those images as you go on the fly. Afterwards, you can then have a look at them. So let's do this practically. I'm just gonna remove those one stars that we created there. All right, you can either do it here in this big grid view, but the problem here is you're not gonna see sharpness or out of focus and things like that. So what I'm gonna do for the first couple, let's zoom into bigger images so we look at three like that, yeah? So I've zoomed in, I highlight my first one, which I can see I've got the white frame around it. So from here, I'm gonna hold shift. Remember for this exercise and what I normally do is I hit one for the images that I'm definitely gonna process later on. The ones that are horrible, I hit X because I'm gonna get rid of them later on. And the ones that have a zero or that I'm not sure about, I leave for later on. Those are the ones that you can go play with in time. Right, so I'm holding shift, I look at this image. Okay, it doesn't really mean anything to me, so I'm gonna give it a zero. See, it's jumped on one. This one, I like that from a marketing point of view, because I can hit, I've got the nice wild eye logo in the corner, I hit one. Uh, hyena, that can play, let's go one. Uh, okay, this one I'm looking at, but I can't really see, so double click to go in. It's a bit of a nothing shot, so for the purposes of now, I'm still holding shift. I hit X, and it jumps to the next frame. I wanna go back to my bigger view, so I go grid. Right, the horizon's a bit skew. Ah. Okay, let's work with that, I'm gonna go to one. Uh, leopard, I can see it's a leopard, but I'm not gonna use it, so let's keep it a zero. That one, nice marketing, I'm gonna go one. Nice cut, one. Uh, bit of a nothing, let's leave it zero for now. That has potential, let's go one. Uh, that's a one, I'm not too mad about that. It's a bit underexposed and flat, so I'm at X. Remember, X is the one that I'm tossing out. Uh, here I've got two, the first one is a zero, because it looks away, this one's looking at me, I'm gonna give it one. So you get the idea, so I'm gonna scroll through these images, and all give them, let's keep going, zero, and I'm gonna give them ratings, or I'm gonna to toss them using X. Got one of those, that's a zero, maybe later we can have a look, that's obviously an X, and so on and so forth. So let's do one or two more of those. Right, let's zoom out to the screen there. So what you'll see now, by holding shift and by going one, zero, or X, that's the ones that I've chosen, you could choose anything, you're jumping from the images. So I've got a whole bunch of ones here now, there's a couple that have been grayed out. Those are the ones I'm gonna to toss out, but we can double check that later on. Before we carry on, there's another way you can do this if you wanna view the images full screen. So, where did we end? We ended over here. So let's double click on that one. Remember, that now shows me my image full screen. So, I can hold shift again, and the same thing applies. One rating for the ones I'm gonna keep and process when I get home, zero for the ones I'm gonna leave and check one day when I have the time and X to toss. I like that, so one. Remember, because I'm holding shift, it jumps to the next image automatically. Another marking, that can work, one. That's nice, one. Um, nice image, out of focus, I'm gonna give it a zero. See, because I'm on the trip, I'm not gonna spend time scrutinizing, can I fix this? I just wanna see what I'm working with. That can be a nice panel if I crop it long, one. That'll work, one. Too dark, toss it, X. Uh, okay, now that's a horrible shot, X. I've got a couple of those, X. Uh, it's soft and cropped, I'm not gonna use that X. That is a nothing shot, I was trying to get a kingfisher there, toss it out, uh, there's no point to that, there's no eye contact, it's blown out, X, ooh, horrible, X, a lot of X's, not good. Chopped off the poor thing's feet, X, that's possible for a zero, uh, that could be like a little brochure filler somewhere, uh, not mad about that, get the drift, yeah? So while I'm holding shift, the images jump automatically, uh, let's do that a zero, that's a zero, I don't know what that is, that's an X, and that by jumping through them like this, I like that little guy, that little guy's cute. Uh, let's give that an X. What about that could be black and white, so let's leave it a zero because it's not a hero shot. That's bad, that's nice, that's not, uh, that's very boring. Nah, it could work, let's give it a zero. See, those shots that I'm not sure of, I can do later. See what the problem is here, X, toss it up. Uh, it could be a brochure filler. That's an X, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's see if we're happy with that. We've not done, let me zoom out so you can see. We've now done, for argument's sake, all of these images in that way. 
So, at the end of each day, take a couple of minutes, grab yourself a gin and tonic when you get back to camp, and run through your images like this. I guarantee you it will save you time in the long run. Now, we've got all of these things. Now you can go up to attributes here, and I can say, right, show me all my one star ratings. So, these are the ones that I've chosen as a one, which I'm going to, when I get home, this is where I'm going to start editing from. I don't have to go and scrounge through 5 million shots, okay, 3,000 shots, but I can start from a point I know these are winners. They can work, yeah? The next step from here on when I get home is now I'm going to start saying, right, these are competition entries, these are blog posts, these are portfolio items, and that's a net that we'll do that in the next video. For now, those are my ones, right? Let's unwind it. Now I want to see, because I, I tossed a few out, so then I'm going to go to X. So these are now the images which I've rated as rejected. Yes? So while you're on your trip, sitting there looking at Amboseli, if you were lucky enough to be with us, you can then go through these and double check them. So double click on it. Remember now you're looking at, these are filtered images. I'm looking at my rejected shots. So I can scroll through and just double check. Yes, that's rubbish, that's rubbish, that's rubbish, and so forth, and so on. When I'm then happy, I can go and I can delete them. Why? Because number one, it's taking up unnecessary space. And you've now double checked these as rubbish. Number two, you don't want to get home and having to do this then. You're going to miss good shots somewhere along the line. So get rid of them as you've checked them. You've checked them once, you've come back, you've filtered them, you've checked them twice, and now you know you can get rid of them. All right, let's unfilter. So now I've got no attributes here. I now I'm going to go and just check my zeros. Yeah, rating is equal to, and I've got zero on there. Right, so these are the ones. Remember now what I've got in here. I've got a couple of grayed out ones. Yeah, those are the ones I'm going to delete, but they also have zero ratings. So, the other ones will be my zeros that I can check one day somewhere along the line. Those are the ones that somewhere, someone's going to phone you and say, listen, we need a stock standard elephant shot. Right, there it is. I might not have used this as a part of my number one selection, my good images, but there might be a job for this image somewhere along the line. Let's go back to none. So, that would be a, a very, very good and useful tip for you to check when you go on Photo Safari next time. The reality is you shoot a lot of images. Take the time when you get in the evenings and just scroll through this. Holding that shift key makes it easy. You don't have to go click, select, click, select. Hold the shift, choose your selections. One, X, and zero works for me. Steal it if you have to, it's a beautiful thing. And then from then on, keep on doing that every day. When you get home, you know which images to process. Right, next time around we'll have a look at when I'm, when I'm home now, how I go about dividing them into different types of images, blogs, competition, portfolio, because that's a whole different story. Same idea, different story. Anyway, if you have any questions, drop us an email, check out the website, the blog, hit us up on Twitter, and we'll be more than happy to assist. I think that is it for today. My name is Jerry. This is Photo Chat for Wild Eye. I will see you guys next time.